Now we have deleted temp branch and in this lecture let's create another branch called br-1. And after creation of new branch we will check out this new branch and then create new commit. Of course we will change some files in our git repository. Let's do that. Let's clear terminal and let's ensure that we are on master branch and there are no other branches. Git branch. Enter. So here is just single branch master and it is current. Let's close this and let's create new branch. And now let's use shortcut for creation of the branch and checking it out. For that let's type git checkout dash b and here I'll type name for new branch br-1. Enter. And you see that new branch br-1 was created and we have automatically switched to this new branch. And now we are in branch br-1. Let's list branches now, git branch, enter. And now I see that current branch is br-1. Ok, let's close this and uh, let's make some changes in our git repository. At the moment if I list files in our working directory, I'll see nothing. That's because in our last commit we have deleted all three files in our repository. Let's now create file with file name file4.txt and with contents hello comma git. Recap that we have already created before such file with contents hello git. Let's do that again but inside of the file with another name. And let's see what will happen in git repository. Let's do that. I can use echo command. Echo. Here type hello comma git. Greater than sign. It will create new file and write this string this file. And here will be file name file4.txt and let's press enter. Now we see that there are uncommitted changes, this yellow cross sign means that. And let's have a look at contents of our working directory, ls and here I see single file file4.txt. Let's have a look at contents of this file, cut file4.txt, enter and here I see hello comma git. Let's now look at the status of our git repository, git status, enter. And here you see that there is untracked file, file4.txt. And we need to add it first to staging area and after that commit changes. Let's do that. git add and let's here type file name, file4.txt, enter. Now this file is ready to be committed, git status. And yes, here it is, changes to be committed and here is new file. And now let's commit those changes. And notice that I will make commit while I am working in br1 branch. And remember that current branch tracks new commits. And that's why this new commit that I will make now will be created in the branch br1. Let's do that. git commit dash m. Here will be commit message. And uh, let's uh, add description first commit in the br1 branch. Like that. Enter and changes were committed. Here you see branch name br1. Here you see sha1 hash of new commit. Here you see commit description, first commit in a br1 branch. And you see that one file was changed and it was created with file for the txt file name. Ok, we have just committed changes in a new branch br1. Let's have a look at git status again. Git status, enter. And here you see that we are still on branch br1 and there is nothing to commit. Working tree is clean. And in working tree there is single file. Let's list files here. It is file for the txt. And if I list contents of staging area, git ls files dash s, enter, I'll see this single file, file for txt. And that means that now working directory here staging area and git repository are consistent. Let's explore contents of git repository after this commit, but let's do that after the small pause. I'll see you in a bit. Bye bye.